I always have to back up a little with this thing. Sorry, I'm like, I didn't know what I was gonna look like. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> um, nice to meet you. Hi, you too. I know. I we have never met in real life. Are you in Nashville? Yeah. Okay, cool. I am. Are so, you? So I'm in Nashville. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, let me turn my volume up here. I can't. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Yay! I can hear you now. So. So you're originally from Arkansas. Yes, Little Rock. And how long have you been in Nashville? Um, I'm going on like three and a half-ish years, probably four years. Awesome. Total, yeah. I checked out your music video uh, for Girl at a Bar. I love yeah. that. Oh, thanks. It's so great. And like, I saw you were in a movie. Or are you actually? Yeah. That's yeah. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny I always forget about that because that's kind of like that was like my segue into music was to like get my Christmas album pushed to movies like to Hallmark and stuff okay and then I ended up like being like being in a couple like just kind of like random little so cameo. Wait, so how, how did you go from just having your music pitched to the movie to like then being in the movie it was just kind of like part of the like I think that it ended up just like when you put your music in movies like that, they pay you per song mm -hmm. instead of like however many times the movie is played. You but know I, mean, what I mean, like, and so then it was just like it was just like a part of the contract deal. To, to like it was just all it. one big sum. Kind of, it was like kind of acting, but it was also like awkward performing, kind of, like performing the songs sometimes. Okay, so yeah. yeah, it was weird. It's not my like favorite thing. <laughs> That's still really cool. My mom, cool. I just saw my mom joined, and my mom keeps telling me to watch Hallmark movies because I feel like everything on TV, or not, I don't have a TV, but everything on Netflix and yeah. Hulu is, like, so just dark and scary. And I'm like, just watch Hallmark movies. Hallmark makes everything better. <laughs> yeah. It's happy. It's Christmas movies. For, that's, like, all I watch on Hallmark is Christmas movies. I know. I, I don't, So, but they have other stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of all the same though. Okay. There's like one storyline in a Hallmark movie. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna like be going through here looking for questions, and you can. Yeah. This it is looks... so cool. Thanks for asking me to do this. Oh yeah, this is like my new favorite thing to do. Um, I love it. And I went back and watched all of your your previous ones today. I saw you like them. I was like, she's getting a feel for what yeah. we're gonna do today. <laughs> Um, I was not sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I, cause I always, sometimes I'll like forget to tell people what this is. And then yeah. like 30 minutes before I'm like, so you want to have like three songs prepared and like, yeah, <laughs> be ready to go. But, <laughs> but we got, we got to each other earlier. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Does anyone have questions? Someone really loves Hallmark. Hallmark yeah, they awesome. do. <laughs> Um, so Jim asked a question earlier. He said, what was your first song you learned on guitar? And I answered, mine was Moses by Patty Griffin. What was yours? I don't play guitar. I am just now learning guitar. Amazing. Yeah. So the only song I've like, st I've started to learn my songs first and then Love Me Like You Mean It by Kelsey Ballerini. <laughs> I want to learn that cover. That sounds like a fun cover. Yeah, it is. It's just boppy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not too difficult. Yeah, I didn't, like, honestly, I learned guitar to write songs, but I don't feel like a guitar player, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I've yeah. been playing for a while, but I still, I'm just like, can I just sing or something? <laughs> I know. I know, it's hard because I've, like, always had a guitar player, and yeah. so trying to force myself to learn is like, but why? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm like, learning that it's, like, it makes me more creative. Yeah, it's definitely helpful, like, songwriting yeah. wise. Um, yeah, definitely. Do you, do you normally write songs just through your voice? Yeah. I if I'm by myself, it's just voice, yeah. Yeah, I was always like that. Like, I would just kind of sing. I used to, like, go meet a guitar player, and I'd be like, so I have this melody and these words. and I love that. Uh, yeah. I think, oh like, I really think you can do either. I don't think there's, like, a rule, so. Yeah, I mean, I've kind of written with both. Like, when I first moved here, I wrote with this girl. I cannot remember her name to save my life. Um, and she would write to, like, other tracks, but she would come up with her own melodies on top of it, like radio hits. Yeah. 
And I thought that was interesting. I was like, I didn't, I would never have thought to do that. But I, I feel like everyone's creative in their own, like, in their own lane, and it's cool. Yeah, someone was just saying, oh, I was listening to this podcast I really like. Um, it's called The Moment with okay. Brian Koppelman and he created a show called Billions and he has guests all the time and he had Shane McAnally on and they were talking about how um, like these stories of really old songs, these songs would already exist and then they would be passed from town to town and the lyrics would change. And so they became really famous songs, but the original lyrics were much different. I, that's what I gathered, but it's interesting. Yeah, it, it's apparently linked to like that Ken Burns documentary, which I haven't watched. So, and very that. interesting. Huh. So, okay, so I wanted um, people to obviously ask you questions and know where to find your music. And I know that you you just released a song. Mm hmm. I did yeah. like. What was the song called? Uh, where do you go? Okay. Cool. Yeah, and I released it, I don't even know, like a month and a half ago-ish. Quarantine is like one big like blob of time. I yeah. like, don't even know how to like separate it. Um, but yeah, it's out there everywhere. And I'm releasing the music video for it soon. <laughs> so cool. Your video is so good. Like I Thank love you. the girl in the bar. And I need to like look around more, but. I love, um, it's like my favorite thing to do is create music videos. <laughs> Do you, like, have you made them outside of Nashville or do you do them inside, like, mostly oh. with Nashville people? No, it's all, all of them have been in Nashville. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know why. What was, was that a guitar falling over? <laughs> no. Taylor, my boyfriend, is playing guitar for me and he's just sitting in the corner. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, well, so do you, hi, Taylor. Here's Taylor. <laughs> um, I was stalking your Instagram. I saw you went to Arrington Vineyards and I was like, I want to go. Yeah, that was my first time ever. I didn't yeah, even, I, no, I, I didn't realize been. it was so like easy to I go there. Been. I feel like it's, it's a place for like romantic dates. Or I don't know. I feel like it's good for like a girl's night too. Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. then I'll go. Um, oh, it's so worth I, it. I also like your song um, a little bit or little by little. Little by little. That's what I, I like you. that one a lot. Yeah. Thank you. I, I was like, I get this song. I get. Um, oh, I love that. I love that song. Well, so do you want to start with a song of yours? Jim said, talk to me. Um, I can. But, but play yeah. whatever you were planning to play. Oh, I can do talk to me. You want to play? You want to pick your guitar? <laughs> Be part of the team here. I can scoot a little bit. Taylor does exist. I exist. Here he is. This is Taylor Goyette. This is, this um, is me existing. Um, Talk To Me is actually a song that we wrote together with Josh Hogue, um, and it's out there. It's That was my first song I released during quarantine, so it goes like this. You look good in that little black dress. Don't 
two years ago year and a half okay. I, always, yeah. I always wonder because I'll release stuff like three years later or two mm -hmm. years later after I write it it's just so we, like I'm always curious what people's time yeah are. yeah with I'm like in the process of just releasing a bunch of stuff because of quarantine I like don't know what else to do with myself and yeah. I luckily had recorded like a whole EP at the beginning of last year that I didn't release oh wow so I'm just <laughs> doing like singles so yeah <laughs> So yeah, that's, honestly, I think that's the way to do it. I, somebody, I, I do too. A girl named Karen was on this. The, she was the first one, and um, she was like, "What do you think about releasing an EP?" And I was like, "Just release singles and then make it an EP at the end." Um, yeah. So anyway, I think that's that's awesome. Yeah, you just like collect it all at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, have you put music out during all of this, or like have you been writing? What are you doing up to? Yeah. So I've been doing a little bit of both. So I released. Um, I released a song called Can I Call You Then? Yes. Uh, I love that song. You oh, released you. a song like a year ago, maybe, that was about the music industry, and I cannot remember the name of it. Oh, Ten Year Town. Yes. I love that. Thank you. That's so good. That's probably, that's like my favorite song, but I don't, like, it's funny. It's like, I, I, I'm trying to not play as many sad songs on these things. I feel like yeah. all of my, I guess that one's not so sad. That one's more like being, being yourself. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I love that song. So that was kind of like the catalyst for the EP that I released in September. And then the Can I Call You Then was supposed to be on the EP, but we had recorded it multiple times. And I was like, this is something is wrong with this song. I don't know. Like, I loved it so much that I was like, we can't just put it out because it has to, like, we have to do it justice. And so yeah. finally in quarantine, I realized, like, first I started releasing some demos. Um, and then I realized with this song, kind of, I had had two producers separately, basically, mm -hmm. for the song. And then one night I was just like, oh my gosh, we need to combine these two. So that's what we did. So we-, we No way. Them. Yeah, so we just combined like several recording sessions and like kept listening back and we would like add stuff and take it away. And then like, it's crazy. Like the final version is like a couple years of different recording sessions and like it all. Worked. Holy crap. That yeah. is cool. That's a yeah. great story. It's like weird how I thought it was interesting. I mean, I feel like some people are like, okay, cool. Like who cares? But to me, I'm like, because I think when you're creating your you have to have faith in the process and you get so lost along the yeah. way so many times, like, especially with production. So it was oh, for sure. There's like a handful of songs that I'm in love with. Yeah. But the production just like, I can't get it. I know. And I, hard. it gave me faith to just like keep trying stuff with the production. Cause it, it is, yeah. it is hard. I think it's hard to nail that. Oh so. yeah. So, yeah. I well, so uh, I think someone, Someone commented they want me to sing Never Give Up. Um, 
So I, I released a demo called Never Give Up. So I'll do that. Um, nice. Like you released it like a, a demo to Spotify. Yeah, I just like put out. Yeah, I just like felt. I don't know why I just felt like that's I've been thinking about doing that. I'm gonna have to go listen. I haven't like had a chance to really listen to a lot of your stuff. I'm gonna have to go listen. And um, yeah, I mean, all that. I'm kind of sometimes I'm like, Oh, why did I do that? Because you it's some like your online stuff is so permanent in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's like, I feel like if Taylor Swift wanted to release like a voice memo, I'd be all over that. So oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I just no, I love it. that. Yeah. So, or maybe I guess because I just did, I just released "Can I Call You Then," so I'll I'll play "Can I Call You Then" first. But yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. to the next holding on to me when I'm still stuck on your ex living like the past is all you'll ever get I want you to look like this can I call you then when your favorite defense her and how that whole thing ended when you can hang up all of your hang ups and tell me what you want yeah I'll call you when over's really over, done is really done When you get hang out sober, want more than just fun I want this to work, but right now it can't I'd like to see you again Can I call you then, when Your favorite defense ain't her and how that whole thing ended when you can hang up all of your hang ups and tell me what you want. Yeah, I'll call you then. Maybe it's tomorrow, and it could be next week. No, I ain't trying to rush you. Take all the time you need Can I call you then When time and it's so wrong Then when you're still moving on Cause I can't hang up All of your hang ups And tell you what you want Yeah, I'll call you then When your favorite defense ain't her and how that whole thing ended when you can hang up all of your hang ups and tell me what you want. Yeah, I'll call you then. So that's gonna call you then. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. That's, that's a really cool idea. I love that. Thanks. Yeah, I, I like kept bringing up this one person that I was dating two years ago. I can't believe it was two years ago, but it, we wrote it around <laughs> around this time two years ago, and it just wow. came out. So. Oh, that's great. So, I love that. I was going to ask you, how do you know Elise? So Elise, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> is my publicist, and she is like Wonder Woman. Yes. Um, she's amazing. So how, do you she work is. with her too? Or yep. You yeah, it's pretty new. It was like... Man, I want to say maybe a month before COVID hit, we like officially signed on. And then I released Talk to Me a week into quarantine. So that was like our first release together. I kind of like, I, I know she felt bad. I felt bad. We were just kind of like, we don't know what's going to happen. We've never worked together before, but it was amazing. So like you had just He's signed on and then you, we all were like, we have to be in lockdown. Is yep. Kind of okay, yep. Yeah. That yep. was a crazy, it was, that was a crazy couple weeks for sure. It was <laughs> insane. <laughs> it yeah. still is. I feel like we're like slowly going back into lockdown right now, slightly. Yeah. So like today was one of the first day, cause we were out of it for like three weeks. Like I played shows. I've been like trying to do my thing while social distancing. And yeah. um, today was my first day that felt like quarantine again. Cause I was like, I had a Zoom right that canceled, and then, like, I was just home. <laughs> so, yeah. 
I don't like it. Here's my thing with Zoom rights canceling. I'm like, how do you cancel a Zoom right during quarantine? Like, so when that happens, I'm always like growling. No kidding. Um, I don't care. <laughs> it's just like it's just funny because I'm like very tight. So if somebody <laughs> does that, I'm just like, how do you how do you cancel a Zoom right during quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? But I actually yeah, no. I like weirdly liked the Zoom rights. I, some people I talk to don't like them but I I don't know I think they're kind of decent yeah I think if I played guitar it would be easier but because yeah. I'm like on the other end of it just kind of like it's like choppy and I'm like I don't know what's happening that's true I don't hate it like when when Taylor and me write together with someone else it's great I've loved it so I can see where like being able to play would be it like isn't that bad I have heard of some people doing rights in person and they just obviously sit far apart. I feel like I would, I haven't done that yet, but I think I'd be fine doing that somewhere. Yeah. I've done one in person. It seems, I'm actually surprised that most people are doing zoom and not in person. I know. I think we're just because we're like riding a wave right now of like bikes and like no one really knows what's happening so I think people are like going in and out of like scared but also like forget this like I just want to live my life you know yeah it's well, everyone's different like, I feel like writing and recording you can actually do it far apart like you don't have to be yeah. that close so it's sort of like the one thing that you can collaborate on and, mm -hmm. but but I still yeah. would rather do zoom right now so I'm just sticking to zoom yeah I know <laughs> um, so am I <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to see if you have. Okay, Jim said, who are your musical influences as a writer, Kelsey? Oh, man. Um, gosh, as a writer, Avril Lavigne is like a huge, <laughs> huge influence. I love that. So random. But like my most recent single, I think, really highlights the, the Avril in my life. Um, and then Blake Shelton, kind of like a mixture of both of them. That's Which is so, so cool. weird, but... <laughs> well, so Avril Lavigne, so did you... When did you graduate high school? In 2010. Okay. So I was listening to Avril, like, junior high, middle school, whatever. Yeah, middle school. Cause, yeah, yeah, I was in high school when I was listening okay. to her. The other day I was thinking about her and how good... I was thinking complicated. And, I, oh like, literally, and I never do, really, but I was thinking about her and, like, how good that song is. Oh, she is so good. <laughs> Wait, you cover, is that like one of your covers that you do? I, when I've played full band in the past, not obviously not right now, but I've covered Skater Boy. Oh my gosh. You're like really taking me back it's too. It's so fun. I, I just feel like her stuff had so much like personality, like yeah. sass. It's oh my gosh. Great. And there was no one like her. No. And there still isn't. I don't think. She still has like her thing, and it was just very Avril. It was just Avril. There's nothing yeah. else to compare it to. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my friend Chloe's here. Um, wow, this is like a nice little group here today. Thanks. Yeah, for this is so fun. Um, okay, Jim said Jim is the best, and hopefully. Jim, will, uh, Jim, you have to follow Kelsey now, but he's the best. He said, hi, Mike Turner. Um, Jim said, my happy ending is the Avril, Avril song, I Always Remember. Oh, that's a good one, too. I don't know that one. It's like the, oh, how does it go? Like, so much for my happy ending. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's so good. <laughs> and then I feel like Ashley Simpson like, did, were you ever an Ashley Simpson fan? Oh, yeah. Well, I think there was, like, one or two, like, big Ashley Simpson songs. Yeah. I don't know if she put, like, an album out. Like, she I don't did. know that much. She did? Yeah. And it was, like, it was... my favorite album of that year. And No I just, way. Like, my friend and I, because yeah, she, like, came out of nowhere with this music, and it was so good. Yeah. And it was sort of, like, it was sort of, like, Avril, like, I, I wish there was a something like that going on now because it was like singer songwriter pop rock mm -hmm. yeah but now it's I, that's not really a thing i don't and it was nobody women. was doing that yeah no one's doing that and then it was like Chris brown 
like was being sang. <laughs> His uh, voice is like butter. I, I love know. him. I know. I have man Ashley Simpson. I gotta go back and listen to her because she was she was a little Avril. She was. She, she had a little bit in her. I like that. Um. Okay. Someone said, "What What are your thoughts on Lady Annabelle's new song? What's their new song? Champagne Night." I. That's the most recent one I've heard, which is amazing. Yeah, I love the song. There, I mean, there's a, a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on there. With yeah. That with all that, but I love that song. And yes, I agree. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, yes, Ashley Simpson's album was called Autobiography. Well, so do you want to play? Do you want to play another tune? Yeah, it can be whatever <laughs> cover. <laughs> no, I'll do. Um, I'll do my new single since we were talking about Avril. Yeah. Okay, wait. There. Yeah, my friend Jada just commented. I feel like Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee Shore is doing the Avril thing right now. And she is kind of like, doing the Avril thing. Yeah, yeah, like, I feel like um, production wise, for sure. She's got a little bit of, little bit of Avril and like country style. Yeah, uh, she's like country and Avril. So yeah. Yeah, a little bit of both, yeah. Just the way she like presents herself is very Avril. I love that. It's very rocker, girl yeah. rock. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so this is my new single. I put it out like a month and a half ago. Um, it's called Where Do You Go? Woke up again to a coping. Go ahead. Ain't on the pillow, so I know. I know why. One night a week turns into 2 a.m. Yeah, it goes again. It's like I'm invisible when you're out with your friends. And I don't even know who you are when you finally come rolling in. Where do you go when you go there? Do you get mad here or do you get scared? It's one too many. when it's last call yeah where do, you land? where do you land when you fall like yes, it's like, thank you super classic about that like the melody and everything I love that so much thank you I love it I wrote that song like probably a year after I moved to town I didn't write didn't start writing songs till I moved to Nashville three and a half years ago oh my gosh yeah so I like that was the first like personal song I wrote ever really yeah so yeah, I love that song. It took me a minute to like really put it out, but I love it. It's so good. Wait, so what's the line? It's it's um, when it's last call. Where do you land when you finally fall? And then what is right before the title? Oh God, Lord, I'm so bad at something, that. Something something when you go to that. 
Uh, sorry. I can't I even remember the words now. It, don't you hate when that happens? That always happens to me. Where do you land when you finally fall? Where do you land? Right after that. Because honestly, if missing me ain't on your mind, I want to know. Okay. I couldn't hear it, but I love that. It's really <laughs> Thank good. you. Thank you. Um, okay, someone is asking me to sing I Think About You. Okay, I owe this girl, um, I owe her a track. I'm so, I, I need to like email. Will you DM me your email, who, whoever's asking about I Think About You? <laughs> so I took, um, I took that, I took my first EP. I released my first album um, seven, no, no, 10 years ago, 10 years Shut ago up. in September. And oh it my was gosh. like my first songs and that took like three years to make. So yeah, I had pulled it down because I don't know. I was just like my first attempt and it was 10 years ago and yeah, you know, I just took, but people still ask me about this one song I think about you. And so I need, uh, I don't know, I need to send this, but I, I'm not gonna play it right now, but um, I will absolutely send it to you. Um, if you just send me your email, is it Danny? Danny, I, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so I have this cover I was gonna do. Yeah. Um, I do a Drake cover. Oh my gosh. Called Hotline Blink. <laughs> No, uh, just kind of funny, but I wanted to put a little country spin on it, and I've never done it live. Oh, I'm excited on this. I guess I've done it live before, but okay. cover like three years ago and they still play it on the coffee house and people request it but I never do it so 
That's my one and that done. That <laughs> was wonderful. Thank you. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so I like am obsessed with hip hop and R&B and I like if if I could have my dream collaboration it would be singing on a, on a rap song of some kind like on the hook and I used to do that when I was first starting out I used to like there is a closet somewhere with like inappropriate rap melodies and my voice <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah that's my dream <laughs> that cracks if me you up. if you could collaborate with any artist any genre who would it be oh oh gosh um collaborate with anybody honestly Blake Shelton is always the first person to come to mind I so like what do you love to what do, do you a love about, what do you love about Blake Shelton because I love him uh, his Chris. I have always just like really loved his production like I feel like he's never strayed from what he's done so I've always loved him Whereas yeah. there's like some artists that I used to love that like maybe I don't love so much anymore or that I didn't like that now I like, you know, because mm -hmm. production wise, I just, I don't know. I just love his production and his voice. It's just like so good. Yeah. Huge Blake fan. <laughs> I love that you keep saying production because it's so, it's so crazy how much that matters. Um, yeah. Like for the final radio version. It's like. It's it, the whole vibe. Yeah. The whole vibe. But I'm also like, I love acoustic stuff. And he's not overproduced, which is what yeah. I love about what he does. Like, his voice is up front always. And that's like, when I'm cutting songs, that's my big thing. Is like, if my voice is tucked back, I don't like it. I know. So, yeah. <laughs> I think singers are always, I get, I tell my producers that. It is my instrument too, though. So I guess that's probably yeah. why. I know. I'm always like, can you, we always just end up doing like one with the vocal. It's like the vocal louder mix. So I totally mm -hmm. get that. That's funny. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah, no, I think it's a singer thing. Um, okay. Jim saying random question. How do you both feel about astrology and horoscopes? Hmm. <laughs> I know nothing about any of that. So you're like, a cool person. No, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> or you're like grounded. I am kind of into it. I, I like it. I like knowing about it. Um, I don't like, it's not gonna dictate how I live my life, but yeah. I think, I think it can be fun to like learn about that. But I have not gotten into, um, the Enneagram. Like I know a little bit about Enneagram, but it's a very like trendy thing at the moment. Do you do that? Yeah, so I like tried to figure out my like number or whatever. And then there was all these wings happening. And I just, I, astrology and all like all of that goes way over my head. Like I'm the girl that would read my horoscope in a magazine and be like, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is so accurate to my life. But other than that, like, I just, yeah. I don't know. I, I just can't wrap my head around any of it. Okay. Uh, what's your astrological signs? Uh, mine is Virgo. What's yours? Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, I do know that. <laughs> so what, what month is that? February. I was born on Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> someone said good night. God bless too. God bless you. Whoever yeah. that was. <laughs> Um, okay, well, so I think we have time for one more each. Um, but if anyone has any other questions, cool. drop them here. And if we missed them, just write them again, because I'm trying to scroll up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Cool. So me? Yeah, your turn. Sure. I think I'll do a cover. I'll do a, a little Haley Steinfeld cover. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You know just what to say Things that scare me I should just walk away But I can't move my feet The more that I know you The more I want to Something inside me changed I was so much younger yesterday 
Yeah, I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. Don't need no butterflies when you give me the whole damn zoo. By the way, by the way, you took things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. You know just how to make my heart be faster, emotional earthquake. Bring your disaster, you hit me head on, got me weak in my knees. Something inside me's changed. I was so much younger yesterday. So much younger yesterday. Yeah, I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. Don't need no butterflies when you give me the whole damn zoo. By the way, by the way, you took things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. Till I tasted you. By the way, by the way, you took things to my body. I didn't know that I was starving till I tasted you. I love that song. That's Me so too. good. That's so fun. Thank you. Was that, was that like the jam of 2013 or 14? Oh, was it that long ago? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like 2016. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. Oh, I love her. I haven't like kept up with her, but I loved what she was doing then. I know. I haven't either. So, I, I think she's... Yeah. Did she? I don't know if she just put something out. Possibly. Uh, I just loved her on Pitch Perfect. I'm a big Pitch Perfect fan. Really? I've yes. never seen it. Never? Is it a movie, is it a movie yeah. or is it was a show? Okay. There's yeah, three of them. Or okay. two of them. You have a lot of Pitch Perfect to watch. <laughs> I have, like, I feel like I watch, so I don't watch movies that much. Mm -hmm. I guess like everyone's this is like a conversation I have all the time. Yeah. Someone's like, have you seen this? I'm like, no, but I've seen these other things. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I haven't seen like very pop, like I haven't seen Star Wars, which is crazy. Oh, like, that's tough now. I feel like, cause life is so like movies are so different now. I know. So to go back and watch Star Wars. Whew. Yeah. I don't know that it's my vibe, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe. Um, okay, Max said, uh, just off, uh, hope to bring you back for another show. Max, I'd love to come back. Um, okay, Jim is saying, do Tenure Town. Yes. So I will do that one. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't really know if I got what it takes First you sell your soul Then you hit the road Another ass to kiss A hand to shake They don't hear a hit yet So they don't give a shit yet And they don't Play the girls anyway. When you're all in, there ain't no way. I keep saying any day now, but how long this takes is anybody's guess. No matter how bad you want me, you're praying for a moment. Yeah, you still might be an overnight success. Pay your dues, wait your turn, no guarantees It's all I've learned after 12 years in 10 year time Try to fit the mold, that's how this story goes Be just like them, but just like you Forget what got you here? Cause that won't work this year. Don't be too young, too old, too brand new. Don't think no one would notice if I went back home, but 
You're rolling and there ain't no way out. Keep saying any day now, but how long this takes is anybody's guess. I know it ain't how bad you want it. You're praying for a moment, yeah, you still might be overnight success. Yeah, you do switch your turn, no guarantees. So I will learn after 12 years, and it's any time. I told you they don't get it. Taking all the credit When you're rolling There ain't no way out You keep saying any day now But how long this takes Is anybody's guess No it ain't how bad you want You pray it for a moment Yeah you still might be Overnight success Pay your dues, wait your turn, no guarantees. So I've learned after 12 years, in 10 year time. After 12 years, in 10 year time. I love that song. Thank you. Uh. Man, it's, so, it's funny, like, listening to sometimes even the songs I write, I'm like, there's different, like, colors and styles of country, you know, mm -hmm. and that is sort of like, something I never thought I would write. And then I did. And then it's like, I don't know, I love kind of writing everything. So yeah, no, that song is like, on point. Thank you. Yes, so I love it. Okay, we have a couple more questions, and then they're going to kick us off. They always kick me off at an hour, so. Um, oh, really? They, they, they do, like, a warning. Like, oh. this is the end. <laughs> no way. I guess yeah. everyone's doing lives, so it's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so pretend there's no COVID. You each could go anywhere in the world for vacation right now. Where would you go? That's a good question. Kelsey, oh. where would you go? Where would I would go? Uh, probably to Italy. I love Italy. Where would you go? I haven't been many places. I went to the UK for the first time uh, last year. I think I would go to Italy too. I, I have been like scouring Instagram of vacation spots. Yeah. And um, I sent my friend a picture of this place in Sicily, I think. Ooh, yeah. Um, that looked amazing. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's really a real or just a photo, like a really good photo. Yeah. I know it's uh, always hard. Yeah. With Instagram. Yeah. I, I haven't, I would go anywhere in Europe. I haven't been that many places in Europe except the UK. I mean, England and yeah. I went to Wales. I learned about how Wales is not London and they're separate. Yeah. Don't even bring it up. The UK um, is cool. Yeah. I studied abroad there when I was in junior high. And it was just, I didn't even know it was like a thing. I thought they were all one. I know. I, 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 I said like all the wrong things when I was over there. Because <laughs> we had a wedding in Wales. And they were like, yeah, we're not. We don't associate a part of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Um, I'm just reading the last comments. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, my sister said you would go to Cabo. That's true. <laughs> if, if I had like, if I could only go to one place and it was like one, I would go to Cabo for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame you for that. Um, I just love, I love Mexico. I do. Um, okay. I'm trying to read these last comments. Um, Okay, yeah, I think that's everything. Well, Kelsey, it's so nice to meet you. I hope that we meet in person or write together. Oh, um, me too. This was so cool. Thanks for letting me do this. This is yeah. awesome. Thank you for being a part of it. It's yeah. going to be like a fun summer thing. So hopefully we'll have a lot more of these. Um, yeah. But yeah. And sorry, what was your boyfriend's name again? Taylor. This is Taylor. Taylor. The Thank man behind the guitar. Playing. It sounded great. 
Thanks for letting me play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll go Thanks, follow Kelsey. anyone who tuned in. Go follow Kelsey. Go check out our music. Yay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Girl. Have a good night. You too.